Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can organize the notes on your Mac, iPhone, or iPad. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 2,000 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There, you could read more about it. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So the Notes app is very popular for just jotting down quick ideas or taking notes in meetings or classes. But pretty quickly, your Notes app can get crowded with lots of different notes, and it could be hard to find what you need. But there are many different techniques that you can use to organize your notes inside the app. All of these ideas can be used on the Mac, iPhone, and iPad, but I'm going to show you on the Mac. So when you look at your notes normally, you should see three columns. The left sidebar here shows you your accounts, such as iCloud, and then you get to see folders and other things here on the left. If you don't see this, click this button here and it will open up the left sidebar. Then you should see a column listing all your notes and then the notes to the right. If you don't see it like this, make sure you have the list selected. If you select the view as gallery, it looks like this and you have to dive down into each note individually. Now by default, everything here is sorted by date. So you'll see, say, today, previous seven days, 30 days, and so on. So this could be useful because it puts your most recently edited notes here at the top. There are a couple variations you should know about. First, you can go to View and you can have it group by and either have it on or off. So if you turn it off, the groupings are gone. It's just one long list sorted by date. So set that how you like. I know that this is on a per folder basis. So I'm using the Notes folder here, which will show all of my notes. But if I had other folders, and we'll look at that in a minute, then each one could have its own group by setting. In addition, each can also have its own sort by setting. The default is date edited. So every time you make a change to a note, even just adding one character, it's going to go to the top of the list. You may want to change that to date created. Doing it that way means that we sort of when you created the note. Now, in my example here, of a college student taking notes for classes. That might make more sense because each note would have been created on the day of the lecture. And then the note can be cleaned up and edited and added to over time, but it won't change its place in the list. Now, the most obvious way to organize your notes is to create new folders here. So you can do that using File and then New Folder or Shift-Command-N. And then you can create a new folder and call it whatever you want. So for instance, I may want to make a folder called Lectures to hold all my notes for those. I'm going to go back to the Notes folder which shows all of your unfiled notes. And I'm going to select just the ones that are lectures. So I'm going to Command click to select more than one. So you can see I've created all of these as examples today. So normally these will be spread out over dates. But I'm going to drag them all into lectures. Now you can see they're not in Notes. So the Notes folder acts as something where you can find everything that's not in other folders. But if you go to All iCloud, you're going to get everything there. These aren't duplicates. Like you'll see spring semester notes here in all iCloud. And you'll also see it in the notes folder. They're just different ways of viewing the same notes that you have in the app. But the regular folders will only have each note in at once. So this note here is in lectures. It's not in notes. Now you can create as many folders as you need to organize your notes. You can also nest them. So for instance, if I wanted to create a new folder called philosophy lectures, then I could do that. And you can see it creates it there. But I could move that inside the lecture folder. And you can see I can even open and close a lecture folder to show the subfolders. There's still nothing in there. But if I dragged these two lectures in here, then I would see them here. The top level still has all the unfiled ones. So I could create a linear algebra subfolder, an astronomy subfolder, and so on. Now another useful technique for organizing your notes is to pin one or two notes. I often get asked how can I keep a note at the top of the list and this is the way to do it. So select a note that you're going to be accessing all the time. So I'm going to select this spring semester notes which is kind of a miscellaneous note here. And I'm going to go to File and then Pin Note. So now this note is pinned and you can see it always appears at the top. Even though I've got this set to be sorted by date edited, the pin notes always come first. You could also control click, two finger click on a trackpad or right click on a mouse to pin or unpin a note. Now if sorting by date isn't for you, you can always change that to sort by title. So with the folder I want selected there, I'm going to go to View and then Sort By and change it to Title. 
So now you can see it's in alphabetical order. This is on a per folder basis. So if I were to create a new folder called lectures and then move all the lectures there, you can see in lectures it's sorted by day and in the notes folder here it's sorted by title. Once you've set sorting you can also change it here but if you change it back to default you can see you can't change it there. You got to go to view and then sort by. I can go now to lectures here and I can decide I want the lectures folder to be sorted by title. So now it could be a little easier to find things. You can even go ahead and set the sort order by giving them titles. So for instance if I want philosophy to come first I might change that to put a 1 in front of all the philosophy ones like that or an A or something else that would put them at the top. Another thing you may want to do is use emoji in titles. You don't have to stick to just plain text. So for instance for my astronomy classes I may want to go ahead and add an emoji character. I'm going to use EFN or globe key and E and you can see it's even going to suggest something seeing the next word is astronomy. I'm going to click here and do a search for star or planet or something like that that I think will fit. I'm going to choose this little icon here, Saturn. I'm going to put it actually at the beginning like that and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it before all the astronomy lectures. Now all this does is create a neat visual cue for me to be able to see which lectures belong together and quickly find the one I want. This is more of a technique to help you quickly find a note than it is to actually organize them but the result's the same. Now a major way to organize is by using tags. It's easy to add a tag to any note and you can add them anywhere you want. You could do it in the body of the text. You can do it as you type. You can put it in the title. You can put it on its own line however you want to do it. So for instance one thing I could do is I could tag the astronomy courses astronomy or maybe astronomy 101. So I'm going to put a hashtag before the word astronomy. I'm going to get rid of the space there. Now it's not going to switch that to a hashtag but if I pretend I was typing and put a space after it like that I could just delete the space after. You could see now it's hashtag astronomy 101 and I could do the same thing. If I was starting this note fresh and I just typed that it would do it automatically. So let's go and do that for each one of these and now you can see all my astronomy classes are tagged with the same thing. Now if I look in the left side under tags and I reveal the tags I'll see astronomy 101. If I click on that it will show me the notes that match that tag. So I can forget about folders and sort order and all of that and just have my notes just in any old order in the main notes folder there I just use tags to find things. But I could also do it like this. Just put a line near the top. It could be at the bottom. I'll just call it tags. You don't have to but you can put the tags that you want here. So for instance I could put something like lecture as a tag. I can do another tag that could be say spring 2024. You could do another tag that is say astronomy or just an abbreviation like astro 101 like that. And I could use that same line in all of the astronomy lectures like this. And then I could do something similar here for other classes. So I could see I've tagged all my courses like this and if I look in the tags here on the left I could see all of these different tags. If I look for lecture for instance I'll see all my lectures. If I want to see everything for spring 2024 I could see that and notice both are selected here. So I could turn this one off by clicking it twice till it's just grayed out again and I'll see all of spring 2024. Now you can also use negative tags. How you do that is you don't change the tags here at all but you could have something like say I want to see all of spring 2024 but not linear algebra. By selecting this it's going to now show me where tags are all selected or any selected. If I click again here then it negates linear algebra. The result is I see all of my spring 2024 lectures but with linear algebra excluded. Now where this comes in handy is if you want to archive something. So let's say I want to go into this one and let's say this isn't from spring 2024 but this is from you know fall 2022. So an old course. I could add another tag here. I could call it old or finished or archive like that. Now what I can do under tags is say I want to see all the lectures but I want to negate the archive one there. So it's only going to show me the lectures that aren't archived. Now if there's a configuration of tags that you access often 
like having all your lectures minus the archive. You can create a smart folder for that. So go to File and then New Smart Folder here. Give it a name. So let's call this one Current Lectures. And we're going to now set the tags up with All Selected. What we're going to do here is we're going to say we want Lectures and we also want to look at the Archive tag. Now if you want to have things selected Lecture and Archive both, so Archive Lectures, this would be the way to set it up. If you wanted to have them set up where it's anything that's tagged with either Lecture or Archive, you would change to Any Selected. But if you wanted to have Lecture excluding Archive, you would click here and you would go to Exclude. So now you can see here Lecture excluding Archive. So I click OK. Now this Smart Folder is going to be a place I can quickly go to see anything tagged with Lecture but it's also missing the tag Archive. So you can use a few different Smart Folders to quickly get to the tag combinations you use the most. Now another thing you can do to organize is to use links. You can link from note to note. So let's say here in this Astronomy Lecture I want to link to this other Astronomy Lecture there. All I need to do is say right where I want the link to happen. I can go to Edit and Add Link or Command K and I can link to and I can start a note title. So if I know I want to link to the one that's the life cycle of stars I can do Life and I see it appears there. I select it. I can give it a different name if I want and say OK and you can see it includes that link that if I click it it goes right to that other note. A quicker way to do this is to type the greater than symbol, that shift period on US English keyboard. Type that twice and it brings up this little list here. So then you could select the one you want and get a link to it. Or you could just include it at the end of a note. You could do something like, you know, also see and then include, you know, links to other notes like that. Now since you can link to other notes, you could actually do something really interesting when it comes to organization. You can create a note that's just for linking to other notes. It could be a home page or a table of contents. So let's create a new note here and let's call it, you know, Spring 2024 Lectures. And then here we can create a heading. Let's call this Astronomy 101 and then make this a heading. And on the next line we could start a list here to other notes. So I'm going to do two greater thans there and link to this Astronomy one and then do it again. There's another Astronomy one. Do it again and there I go. So I can continue to add notes here and this note can keep growing as I need it. And I can easily reorganize it for instance putting you know, this subject after this. I can add emoji to it if I want. Color it up something like this. I can make these lists for instance. I can go in here and make it a bullet list of items and then I can use indentation if I want to put one lecture under another or create subheadings, that kind of thing. So you can see there's a ton of different ways and you don't have to settle on just one. You can put all your notes into folders but also use tags and links to other notes if you want. Maybe a table contents note in addition to that. Pin some of the notes. You can use all these in combination or use none of them if you find it's just OK. Just have them sorted by date or alphabetically and you could find what you need. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.